Now let's discuss about freelancing platforms and what it can do for you. According to the Pioneer survey, almost half of freelancers find projects via online through freelancing marketplaces. According to the Pioneer survey, almost half of freelancers find projects via online freelance marketplaces. The growing popularity of online marketplaces has helped millions of freelancers build a worldwide client base. Freelancer.com and Upwork have millions of freelance workers and millions of registered clients. You will need to bid for jobs and this takes time. You will often be unsuccessful on your bids. But once a bid is successful, it is key to form long-lasting relationships. The more regular clients you have, the less time you will need to spend bidding on projects. This bidding process can be a distraction from your core work. Balancing doing work and getting new work is something that takes some time to master. You will need to optimize when to pitch for new work. Pitching too early means that you may overcommit yourself and not have the capacity to fulfill both new and existing jobs. This may lead to unhappy clients and poor ratings. If you pitch too late, you may be left with periods with no income. There needs to be a slow and a steady feed into the pipeline. For Americans, TopTel is a super option to set yourself apart from the masses. They only select the top 3% of freelancers that apply to work through TopTel. If you get through their tough selection process, you will have more opportunities to work with high caliber employers. Another option for freelancers is Fiber. You can do micro tasks for as little as just $5, but the potential volume of work that you can get from Fiber is large. The aim should be to do a job and then form a longer term relationship that involves higher paying jobs over time. There are more specialist sites too, such as 99designs for designers or UpCouncil for lawyers. Mm -hmm.